I'm about to make a controversial statement. The DJI Spark is the best drone of 2017. What's up everybody? I'm the Everyday Dad. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. And that's it. I'm calling it right now. 2017 is almost over, so it's time to start talking about what was the best of 2017. And when it comes to drones, the DJI Spark was by far and away the best drone that came out in the year 2017. That is my most favorite spark ability, the ability to hand catch it. I've, I've, that never gets old. The DJI Spark was released early in 2017, and since its announcement, it has taken the world by storm. Is it the most technically advanced drone? Nope. Does it have the best image quality? Nope. Is it the easiest to fly? Again, no. Then what makes it the best drone of 2017? Well, there are five things that come together to make this the best drone. Now, if you want a more in-depth review of the Spark, I've got a whole bunch of videos. I'll link the playlist right up here, where you can see every nitty gritty detail of the Spark. But let's talk about the five things why this is the the best. Number one, price. And that's one of the most important things when it comes to drones. There is a preconceived notion that drones are, are too expensive of a hobby to get into, and that keeps a lot of people out. Well, that is false. Right now, you can buy a DJI Spark for $349. That is an insane deal, and there's so much value coming out of that to get a $349 drone. Yes, that's just the base model. That's not the Fly More combo. The Fly More combo will cost you a couple hundred extra dollars, but just to get into it, just to get out there, you cannot be the Spark on price. If you want to use the Spark as a little more of a more traditional camera drone, you'll at least need to get the extra controller, and that's about a hundred bucks on DJI's website. Or, like we said, you could get the Fly More combo and get an extra battery and the case and some prop guard. It's actually really good value, and you can find that for about six hundred dollars right now, and that is also an incredible deal. Second reason is convenience. As a dad that likes making family movies and making YouTube videos, one of the most important aspects of my gear is convenience. It is hard juggling everything I need to in either making videos for the channel or making home videos. That's why I default to gear that just works. The Spark is the definition of easy to use. You can fly it with just your cell phone, or if you're one of the people that can get them to work, unlike myself, you can control it without a controller at all. It takes about 30 seconds to go from standing to flying and capturing video photos. It is incredibly, incredibly convenient. Number three, durability. I think we overlook durability a lot when it comes to buying our first drone or buying a new drone. And the Spark has durability in spades. It has a very strong frame and I've legitimately wrecked this drone five times. It has hit a tree and fallen 10, 15 feet onto some rocks, and I just very recently wrecked it again. Let's check that out. So I'm currently out here filming the essential phone video that you're gonna see on Monday. But while doing that, we were doing some drone flying with the Spark, and Blue got in the worst wreck he's ever been in. Poor guy broke a prop, one prop flew off. He's pretty beaten up, and so as the Friday video this week is how the Spark is the best piece of tech in 2017, we're just gonna pop on some new props and see if it's still working. I have a feeling that this thing's built like a tank and all I gotta do is gonna wipe it off and I'm gonna put some new props on it and it's gonna be great. Let's see if I'm right. Okay, so we got Humpty Dumpty all back together again. Let's see if he can fly.
like a champ. Look at that. And I did, so this was not scripted. I did not intentionally wreck my drone to prove a point for this video. This guy crashed w right over there on the lake, broke off a propeller, cracked a propeller in half, I threw some new props on it and it flies fine. I catch so much flack saying that I think the Spark is like the best drone ever. And look at that, like this thing is a tank. It's, it's so good. Uh, so I'm gushing about the Spark a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go back to filming the Essential Phone video. You guys go back to watching the uh, Spark, the best drone ever video. And we'll catch each other in just a minute. Every part of the Spark is built durably. The gimbal is durable. The frame is durable. The props are durable. Everything about it is durable, and it will take a hit. It's basically a flying tank. Number four, quality. You will not get a more feature-packed drone for this price. We already mentioned that, but you just won't. It will not happen. Now, can this do everything that its big brothers and cousins can do, like the Mavic Pro and the Phantom Line? No, it can't. It can only do 1080p by 30 frames per second. And that's one of my biggest complaints about the Spark. But if you're looking for a taste of what a DJI drone can do, this thing can do all of it for a fraction of the price. It does only have a two axis gimbal instead of a three or five. It has most of the intelligent flight modes, but not all of them. But you can get incredible, incredible footage for less than half the cost. This is, it has quality for days. Last but not least, number five, and another real big one for me, ease of use. We already kind of talked about this with convenience, but this drone, if you have never flown a drone before, it is just easy to start and use. There's not too much finicky about it. It is just super easy to get up in the air. Not only can you figure out how to fly it really quick, you can also figure out how to get decent results in just a couple of minutes. Now, ease of use is not only in the functionality, but this, this is the least intimidating drone on the market today. People generally get nervous when you're flying a Mavic, they generally get nervous when you're flying a Phantom, but this just looks like a toy. I have never had anybody come up to me and complain when I'm flying this around, and I have gotten complaints with my Mavic, and back when I had a Phantom, I had worried looks about that. But when you're just flying this toy around, nobody seems to care, because it, it's such a cute little, unintimidating little guy. Conclusion. Is the Spark perfect? No. No drone is perfect, and the Spark is certainly far from that. Do a Google search on Spark issues, and you'll find a thousand of them. The Spark is not without its problems. But you'll also find issues with any drone that you're flying. These things are just a normal piece of tech, and they glitch just like any piece of tech. That's why you always gotta fly safe, so if something happens, it doesn't fall out of the sky and, you know, hurt somebody or break something. There are cheaper drones out there. There are more technically advanced drones out there. There are easier drones to fly than this out there. But I don't think there's a single drone that was released in 2017 that can do what the Spark can do. It, these five things come together into a perfect nexus of just the best drone. Heck, one of the best pieces of tech released this year, and I full, I wholeheartedly believe that. I recommend the Spark to every single person that asks me what drone should they get for their first one. The Spark always, always, always gets my recommendation. I love my Mavic, I'm really looking forward to getting another Phantom, but the Spark will always have a place in my heart as just an incredible, incredible piece of technology. Well, hey everybody, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button down below. We do Drone Flight Friday every Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Well, hey, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out just how amazing the Spark is and how much I've really enjoyed using it this year and that I would recommend this to anybody and I would totally buy another one, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching.